Hello fellow game devs, how are you all doing? Today we will be continuing our work with collisions. We'll make it smooth, or in other words, allow the player to slide along a wall if there's a collision there. Currently we're just getting stuck regardless of our speed, like a fly getting stuck on a sticky surface. I also want to welcome our new member, Do Min, to the channel. Welcome and thank you for your support, I appreciate it. Now let's start this episode. Just a quick reminder. All of the code I cover in my videos can be found on GitHub. Each episode will have its own branch. There's also a Discord server for this channel. Come in and say hello. If you wish to go the extra mile to support my work, you can do that on my Buy My Coffee page or becoming a member here on YouTube. Links can be found in the description below. Right now, when we are running into a wall or something, we get stuck. Even though I'm trying to go up to the left here, I'm stuck because... I'm trying to move into the wall, so it says no. But I want to keep moving upwards with the same Y speed that I have, even if I collide with the wall to the left. And of course, the same goes with up. So I want to move to the left here, but I can't. So that is what we're going to focus on today. And it won't be that difficult. We pretty much have all the code. We just need to add two methods to handle moving next to a wall that is solid. We can probably start right here. This is in our playing class when we update the player move, all the calculations, and then we check can we move to the position we're trying to move. If we can, then apply the change. Otherwise, nothing. So it's in here we're gonna have the move in only x direction and then only in y direction. So in here we can have a if can let's uh, call help methods dot can walk here player dot get hitbox We're using the same method let's start with y direction so y is going to be the one we check first if we can move in the y direction for that reason x delta or delta camera x is going to be zero because we're not going to try to move in that direction but we're going to use the same for delta y and then of course map manager dot get current map if we can move there, then camera y plus equals delta y. Nothing special. Else, then we need some method that's uh, move next to solid tile. Right now we have no object, so it's only tiles. So solid tile in y direction. And then down here, if we do the same, but for our x direction, if can walk here, player dot get hitbox delta x here is gonna be delta camera x zero for y direction because we're not trying to move in the y direction here, only x. Otherwise, everything else is the same. Camera x plus equals delta x. Else, well, move next to solid tile in x direction. So these two else brackets is what we're going to work on today. And they're going to be very similar because they are, you know, one is x and one is y direction. But first we can just make sure that this sliding works because this would work. This is going to work as sliding, but we might be offset. There might be a little gap between us and whatever wall that we are trying to move along. So let's see. All right, we got the sliding. And if we zoom in here, we can see that there's a little gap, but it is working as intended. That is great. Now we just need to make sure that we can move next to it. So that's what we're gonna do in our help methods class. We can probably add the methods uh, right above, yeah, right above our can walk here. So let's call them public static float. These methods are gonna return the actual value that we're gonna set camera delta. For example, in the playing, we have camera y plus equals, etc. But these methods are gonna return, so camera y is equal because we need to take the attempted delta and remove a bit depending on how far the solid tile is in whatever directions. So it's not going to be a boolean, it's going to be a float that's going to be returned. 
So what can we call them? Move next to tile up down. So we're going to separate them by the axis. So Y or X. Uh, there we go. I can just return zero for now. So we don't have that error. What are we going to need here? We're going to need the hitbox. We need to know, well, the player's bounce. Then we're going to need the camera Y, where how much are we moved? Have we moved thus far? And the last we're going to need is the delta Y. So we know if we're trying to move up or trying to move down. So let's ask for the hitbox. Let's ask for float camera Y and then float delta Y. And this delta Y is just so if we're moving up, we need to check the top of the player. If we're moving down, we need to check the bottom of the player. So if delta Y is more than zero, else we enter into that bracket. We need to know we can actually have a few variables up here. We need to know the player's current tile, where we are standing now, current tile. Then we need to know the player's position, player position y. And last, we need to have the float that we're going to return. So float position to align, uh, return, that's not spelled correctly. Align, yes. Align two. Yeah. First, we need to figure out the player's position. So player position y is equal to, recast this over to int, and we need to see hitbox.top minus camera y. And delta y is positive here, meaning it's moving down, but it's the camera that's moving down, not the player. So you need to keep that in mind. Then we need to know the current tile the player is on. Current tile is equal to, and this is used player position divided by game, oops, game constants dot sprite dot size. So now we get the current tile the player is standing on. So we know that the tile we're standing on now is something we can walk on, but the tile above us, regardless of where we are, is solid because we already checked in here that we couldn't walk there for whatever reason. So it might be that we, or rather uh, here, we could have walked there. So we need to align ourselves to that tile as close as possible. So the position we need to align ourselves with is position aligned to equals hitbox.top minus current tile times game constant dot sprite dot size. That is now the camera that we need to return or camera. Maybe we shouldn't call it position to align to. Uh, we might camera y return um, is better. Then we can just call down here camera y return and it's going to return or be a error because we haven't initialized it if we are in here. So we need the same, but not player position y top but bottom, then for current tile, we can do the same. So now we get the current tile, but for our bottom, because we're trying to move down. So we need to care about the bottom and not the top. Then for camera Y return is equal to, and let's see here, we need to take hitbox dot bottom minus current tile times game constant dot sprite dot size. But this would apply for the tile above us. We need to f figure out the tile below us. So game constant dot sprite dot size times one, but doesn't really matter. That would make us lock into the tile underneath us. So let's say we're trying, we're standing on one, the tile one, Tile two in the y direction is solid. With this uh, this calculation, we would be aligning ourselves with the 
top left corner of the second uh, the second tile so we would jump down <laughs> a lot uh, or be outside which is not good because we need to remember that top left corner of the tile is 0, zero and the bottom is 95 95 or whatever but as soon as we go to 96 we are on another tile so we just need to say minus one we can make it like this doesn't really matter but it illustrates that this is one part and this is another part and that's another part so I like to do it like this these uh, parentheses are not necessary but I, it makes it easier to see what is what uh, yeah let's go ahead and test it and we want to do it in here so camera y is equal to help methods move next to tile up and down yes player dot get hitbox float camera y camera y delta y now if we're trying to walk somewhere and we get stuck so we're gonna start sliding but we should always move next to it so let's see here moving uh, right up okay I'm next to it I'm next to it I'm next to it I'm next to it yeah that looks good that happened to look good but this is on the right side so this there we go it doesn't work on x direction but and I can move down in here yes that looks good but let's check bottom as well so that plus one or minus one actually worked because if we don't have that minus one let's just remove it for a second run it again I think we're gonna get stuck or the hitbox is gonna be outside yeah that's <laughs> I don't know what happened, but yeah, uh, we need that minus one for sure. So now we just need to do the same for x direction. And for our x direction, we can just copy this, paste it, move next to tile up, down, no, but left, right, camera x and delta x. If delta x is more than zero, we're moving to the left. So we're gonna change top to left minus, and we're gonna change camera y to x. Current tile player plus y, no, we should be x. And camera x return. I'm just gonna change those so we get rid of the error. Player x, player x. Player X divided by Sprite, yes. Player top, no, but player left. And that is all good. And for going to the right, it's hitbox.right, camera X. Current tile, player pos X, and we get the correct position. And then we go right, not tight, right. And I think that is correct because it's the same but we just change from left to right and that looks correct let's save that go to playing again camera x in here so camera x is equal to help methods dot move next to tile left and right yes player dot hitbox camera x and delta x and now we should have a much smoother experience when moving to the left and to the right. So we should be able to align ourselves. Yeah, it looks better. I can't see, I can't find, usually if it's X delta is high when it doesn't work, when it is showing some offset, but it's not. All right. And this works that works let's see how the right side works yeah that is looking good perfect let's go into inside and see 
if there is any change or difference in here. Oh. We got some bugs here. We got something going on here. What is happening? It took me quite a while to figure out where the issue were. Why did it bug out? Why why didn't it work? Because the math and everything checked out. But it turns out with a small map, let's check here. You can, this is some of my uh, debugging methods, checking how far I go, but uh, yeah. So if I am in here, it turned out it wasn't this one, it was in here. So I'm just checking if I can go up and down, if I can, and plus like, like before, before we even started this method. But it didn't allow me to do this. It was like, nope, you can't go just up and you can't just go left. Even though there's clearly uh, clearly a path up and down, etc. So it turns out when we pass in zero for delta x, then we check, uh, is it below zero? That's going to be 5, 4, no x. That's 1080 plus zero is not less than zero. All right, fine. This one checks like normal. But then we get here, hitbox.write, slightly above 900 something, almost a thousand, plus zero. Is that more or equal than game width? And the game width for the small map is just 672. But we're checking a position that is over a thousand here. So if we pass in zero, it's going to return a bug. It didn't happen over here because it's because the height of the game map is still larger than half the screen. So we need some way of figuring out how to deal with this. And the best way of dealing with this would be to have this method for both x and y. Then we have a public static boolean can walk here up down. So we're only checking up and down for this one. But we are going to need all of this. We're going to remove x delta, of course. Uh, this one. And we can take this. But we can remove the left, the right, or even this one, and just keep that one. And then we can probably just take the same here. I think this is going to be delta x, get tile chords, zero for delta x. Yeah. And let's do another one for left and right. Just copy that one and just call it left, right. Not delta y, but delta x. And it had like that, not top but left and delta x, not bottom, but this one. And we can remove that comment for issue. Then for delta x, we have delta x. And for delta y, we have zero. And I can go ahead and remove all my comments there for debugging and the same in here there and then we go like so and like so now we save it but we're gonna say can we walk here up and down and then we remove the delta x there and then we ask for or do the left and right then we remove delta y there da, 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 da. and that should work, but you never know what type of errors you create or bugs you create. So let's just try the first one. Looks fine. Up, down. Yeah, and let's go inside here. And it crashed. Beautiful. Why is that? Array index out of bounds. Wonderful. And this error, this array index out of bounds is happening there. I'm clicking control left click to move to the position where it's going. And it's the reason because we have zero. So that is a completely different tile. I don't know why I didn't think of that. 
but that's going to return completely different tiles than if we have, for example, delta x that we had just before. But we can't give them delta x because then we're trying to move to a position that is the one we already tried to move to in here. So we need the current camera x, like this one, or this one for camera x, in that specific method. And for moving to x, we're going to use camera y, this part right here. So let's see, can we walk here up and down, delta camera y, yes, and then we're going to add camera x times negative 1. And we're using negative 1 because we have negative 1 here. So that is already part of this one or this one, we just need to remember that. So times negative one for up and down. Then we have uh, up and down, can walk here. Uh, left and right, that should be camera Y times negative one. And now we go in here and just add that. Can walk here up and down. So float current camera x. Now we just use that camera x there. And for left and right, float current camera y. Right? Yeah, camera y, black. So now we're going to get the correct tiles. And I think that error should be gone. Yes, let's give this a try. Those bugs were completely unexpected, uh, but yeah, that's just part of making games. <laughs> but as we can see, it's moving very smooth here. And as soon as the player can actually slide outside, slide out the door, let's go very slow here, and it's out. Going back in. Yeah, this is really good. That's some smooth sliding across the walls or alongside the walls. It's looking good. We finally got our collision with the tiles working. There could of course appear more bugs later on, but when they do we will deal with them as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something today and if you did hit that subscribe and like button. Until the next one, take care now and have a wonderful day. Cheers!